Welcome, welcome everyone. My name is Hiro Ushio, your comfort hero for today. We are going to be playing some amazing games, have a good time, so sit back and relax and enjoy the video. Let's see what's playing today. I think the next step was supposed to be the park. That's the aviary. This is the park. So what's at the park? What's this? Okay, we need to go over here. Wait, but we have the diamond key. Okay, so we do need it on us in order to use it, unfortunately. Which means I need to find the nearest save point. And it's probably in here. Let's see, anyone know if Opal is still here? Um, Opal, are you there? Give us a heads up. Let us know if you're if you're there. I don't know if I forgot if uh, Opal went to sleep. save here. Let's go get that key. Because I guess having the keys on us is something we need. So take it. Take it. Move this down here. So yeah, that leaves us with not a lot of room. I'm here just sleepy. Alright, thank you, Opal. Thank you for being here. Shoot, I don't want to waste a coin. You know what? I'll waste a heal potion because we do need to heal up. There we go. these things. The uh, let's see, the sounds ominous. Uh, stay right there, I got plans for you. That sounds ominous, you hear me please. Let's see, Nemesis, give a compliment. Okay, Nemesis, uh, do you want the compliment for you or for somebody else? Oh, compliment Opal? Okay, so Opal, as far, for as long as I've known you, I've known you to be um, like a person with many connections. You are very fun to actually be around. You're actually like, I like that you actually like take the time to show up to the stream and have a good time. And I'm glad that this place is not only a safe space for you. You're very, I want to say that you have a nurturing nature, which like not a lot of people have these days, you know? So I want you to keep, like, I want you to actually keep yourself, like, knowing that you do provide some happiness. You're very knowledgeable, which is really good. Alright? Keep yourself doing what you are doing, because I know that you're going to, like, you, you're, you're, you're probably going to be doing, like, a lot of big things as well, let's be honest. We have opened the park, everyone. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, Opal. Let's see. We need a flashlight or something. Pico Park? No, not Pico Park. What is this? Oh, these are when the little one's gonna be at. 
Is this supposed to be like a like a maze, a labyrinth? There's goblet. Hmm. And what's in here? Probably a save. All right, we're finding some coins and some new ammunition. And here's the map. So now we have the map of the garden. This is actually not so bad. The hedge mage, the tool shed, play castle, service tunnel. Then the office trailer, greenhouse, the kennels. Oh, there's they have kennels. And aviary, which is in the back. We might have to do multiple runs of this game just to figure out like how we're gonna get the um like because I think I know we're gonna miss out on a couple of things. Definitely gonna miss out on some things. You no, know I should probably save in there. That 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 was I, I I'm I'm being dumb, but I should really save. Oh? <laughs> Pico Park. Yeah, I figured it would be nice to have you complimented. Thank you, Nemesis. That was actually very nice of you. Vesper says, but Hero, Pico Park. And no, we don't want to go through that again. Opal says, aw, thank you. I'll consider um, it a late birthday present. And thank you, Hero. You're welcome, Opal. Vesper says, happy late birthday. Thank you. Oh, wait, you're also an October baby, Opal. When did you have your birthday? Let's see, Nemesis says, damn, sorry I missed it. It's all right, Nemesis. We didn't know. Nobody knew. What the hell? Gordon, where are you going? Where do you think? What's the matter with you? Don't you want to be our friend? You have a funny way of making friends. I'm lucky I haven't been hunted to death or eaten. Okay, I admit we're not at the top of our game, but you can't throw us out just because we've made a few mistakes. I'm just doing my job. Uh-huh, sure. I take it blasting your way through hordes of allegedly psychopathic puppets is a normal day at work for you, hmm? Seriously, Gordon, who hurt you? I don't know what you're talking about. No? So you were just born a bully? I'm not a bully! Surprised you're not a detective. They're always bashing down doors and brandishing guns. Or maybe a GI give you a chance to rampage through some small defense. Don't say that, Ricky. Say what? Don't talk about the war. Why not? Just saying. Seems like exactly the sort of place you- <laughs> Ah, they're talking about the war. What is the demon plot of, or what is the damn plot of this game? So apparently, at some point, during, I guess the US went to war at a certain point, right? And we were actually going over there because of uh, certain patriotical propaganda. Later, we were we find out like I guess the civil um, the civilians found out that basically like we were going to war and doing horrible things. We were basically killing people overseas. So um, there was huge protests about it back in the nineteen seventies or seventies or sixties. Like the the newspaper articles that we found so far pretty much told us that like the soldiers that came back weren't even hailed as heroes; they were hailed as murderers. So. Our country did something, apparently, like, our country did something bad. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, what does that have to do with these guys? So, apparently, um, their message, like, pretty much, like, the, the puppet's message of spreading friendliness, and, uh, like, to our children 
wasn't the message that I guess the country wanted to um, to spread. You know, like they're saying, hey, like maybe we shouldn't be a friendly country. Maybe we should be a standalone country. And they got rid of this TV show because it was it was spreading the wrong message to our kids. So that's why it was closed down. But now that it's coming back up, they just want to quickly silence it for some reason. And we're trying to figure out, like I guess we're finding out like bits and pieces as we go along. All right, so this leads back into the maze. So we unlocked it so it's easier for us to go through here. Yeah, they're talking about Vietnam. So the Muppet has a whole history with anti-war stuff. Basically, it's what would have happened if Walt, if, uh, Walt Disney never bought Jim Henson. So I guess like this is uh, based off of that anti-war propaganda. But in this case, they shut down the Muppets, like, all together. What the hell are you- Oh, this is the guy that bonks you on the head! Well, luckily we don't have to deal with him. Where am I supposed to go? Oh wait, there's probably something I can unlock up here. Oh, it's locked on the other side. So there's a way to get around there then, I think. Let's see. We're gonna look around and see if there's a way we can climb up there, maybe get through there in some way. Maybe there's a staircase we missed? I mean, this is the kind of playground that kids would like though. Okay, so we can't get up there. We have to find some kind of key for later. How many times do you have to learn this lesson, old man? Says Vesper. Looks like a uh, grandpa fish from SpongeBob. What was that? What did we just see? That thing went by quick. Right? Is that what we had to do? Oh, the generator's not working. Why isn't the generator working? I mean, there's a kennel over here, so look. If they have kennels, that means there could be dogs. Does that mean there was, like, dog Muppets? We don't have the triangle one yet. Alright, nothing in the fridge. Let's see, nothing there. Ah, look, we got some more. Okay, so additional. Last night I was watching a rerun of one of the old newsreels from the war. When one of the stories jumped out at me, in one operation, a platoon of our soldiers found themselves trapped in a collapsing mine. As they ran to the entrance, one of the uh, timbers uh, supporting the tunnel began to fall until Private uh, Joshua Hartwright caught it on the, his shoulder. As he held up the wood, his friend scrambled out under his uh, outstretched arms until after everyone else was out, he let go and the tunnel collapsed in on him, burying him forever in the earth. When I heard that story, I felt a mixture of emotions, pity for the waste of a human life, anger of, at the injustice of the war, but most of all, I was horrified. Horrified that a person might have to do such a thing. Horrified that it was being held up as an inspiration. To lay down your life for someone else. To lose in... To lose in... Uh, to lose everything. To have the veil torn and the scrap of your life vanish into nothingness. How could anyone ask someone else to do that? Who would do that voluntarily? And if you don't... Do they call you a coward? Found more shells. Alright, let's head over to the kennel.
Poor pups probably haven't been fed in a long time. Well, we know there's three dogs. Do you think we have to find food and put the... What are the dogs' names? We have... Ra what was that? Raps, Flopper, and Mah Mahoney? Looks like the dogs get in through here. Yeah, that doesn't look like the kind of dog you want near you. Alright, what's in here? We're currently in the greenhouse. Maybe there's food? Potions? Or ammunition. We'll take that too. What is this? So we need something for this. Jam solvent. It's empty. Looks like it drains if the chemical is wrong. Okay, we can't do anything there. Looks like it takes liquid. Well, there's three of these and three dogs, and I'm hoping I don't have to do what I think I have to do. What does it say? Maybe I can use this to dissolve whatever's blocking the elevator in the hotel. Oh, we're gonna make an acid! Opal says, Rolf the dog is a Muppet. Oh, okay, okay. Step one. Oh, wait, wait. Sometimes jam clogs up the hotel elevator. If this happens, you can uh, unstick it by applying the compound. One jug of Lumalux film developer. One gallon of weed out, which is the weed killer. One tub of virtuoso trumpet polish. Turn on the water using the tap. And then press the following buttons for the indicated times. Green for two seconds. Oh, I'm sorry. Red for two seconds. Green for two seconds. Blue for three seconds. And green for two seconds. Final solution will be dispensed below the mixture. Okay. <gasps> we got the triangle key! Finally! Alright. We're happy. We have the triangle key. And we got plenty of ammunition. Something tells me I'm gonna need this. Right, there's our first triangle door. How is this? Power pack. It's probably for the battery. What's this? More magazine. We're getting a lot of ammunition, so this definitely like helping us set up. All right, we found the health potion and a hat. We might as well take the hat. But now that we got the power pack, we can go over here and probably turn on the power. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Oh, we probably need three solutions here. But nothing here that's telling me I need to power up anything. But we definitely need this. Hmm. hmm. Suspicious, suspicious. Alright, so there's one area we haven't gone into yet. And that's the aviary, which we can't go into yet. Why would I need the power pack, though? That is a question. Hmm.
Okay. I think maybe we're gonna have to get out of here for now. I think we found all that we could here, so the best thing to do is probably go back. see that that's definitely a doggo Roselli thank you for the Godzilla roar but that's definitely a doggo over there I was more panicked about that thing what do you want what do you want what are you doing why are you barking Roselli thank you for the love what are you doing what are you doing hunt a doggo you're a good boy you're not a bad boy right you're not gonna try to eat me are we no wait 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh shit! What do you mean you took that shit to the face? Run! Run! He took that shit to the face! What the hell? He's all blocking my path. Alright guys, I think we're going to save right here for the... <laughs> in the meantime. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. If you want to catch my streams, there is a link in the bio. Remember to always be a hero to yourself and to others. Have a good morning and a good night, and I will see you all next time. Bye!